it comes out at the bottom and it's 54 degrees. And the time it gets down and runs into the main flat water, uh, it's still too cold to swim in. So me and Teresa went over there and picked up some rocks one time. Yeah. Back early in the spring or something. Now I've caught bass in that little hole of water. Well, if you see the under where the white water stops, that's where the other hole starts and goes on down. Beautiful. Those waves look like those old time moist boys. They do. <laughs> Look You want just that level of darkness to be nice and crunchy. How many batches do you think you've made in your life? Uh, 4,621. <laughs> 4,622. Okay. <laughs> Is that your mother-in-law Tootie's recipe or your mom Mary's recipe? Or are they the same? It's Lester's recipe. <laughs> That's the best. They didn't put flour in their cornmeal. And when you touch it, it just fall apart. Put a little flour in it, you got to you can hold it in your hand. When That's you're eating, tobacco. you're supposed to hold your bread in your left hand and eat your other food, take a bite of bread now and then. <laughs> 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 Once you pick a piece of bread out, you never lay it down. Because back when I was a kid, if you laid your bread down and looked back, it was gone. <laughs> <laughs> All these stab marks on the back of my hand. That's where a fork hit me going for the last piece of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and that's no joke. Y'all did it stab. It is about five forks right on top of your hand before you got to the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Dig a big hole back in it. A big hole. And line it with dead grass and put your taters in there and cover them up. And it had to be covered good. Uh, then you'd leave out maybe six or eight bushel if you had a basement cellar. And then when those were all gone, uh, You'd go, and you'd have several of those holes, uh, and you'd have to get all the taters out of that hole once you opened it up. 
and take them and put them in that cellar. <coughs> when they're gone, go get another hole. So you have to grow enough taters and store them till your new potatoes in the spring big enough to eat. You didn't want to run out of taters. Thousands of them did, but how many bushels of taters would be in a hole, a storage hole? Uh, about six to eight bushel, big hole, and you could use the hole year after year. Where do you remember, like, about where the holes were? Yeah. Where? Uh, we had a, a bank, a high bank. And just dig a hole back in it. Now, uh, uh, that was it. That was the one across yeah. the road where the beehives were. No, back on to the left. That's the road. That, okay. Right. Okay. Uh, Moline's mom and dad had their tater holes underneath the porch. <laughs> oh. And uh, big, big, big hole. So they would dig theirs un underground under the porch. Yeah. And it didn't flood. Like when the creek flooded or that, the holes didn't fill with water. No. The creek didn't get that big. Okay. How many bushels would be in a hole that Andy and Tootie did? About 10 or 12. 10 or 12 bushels. Dad, that's a lot. You had to have a lot. Woo! Basically, you had taters twice a day. When? The year around. Yeah. Beans what, and taters. Be soup beans. And you'd buy the soup beans in great big bags. You buy them in a hundred pound bag. A hundred pound bag of soup beans. Do you? Pretty much the whole year. But we didn't buy that many. We dried a lot of beans, shuck beans. Uh, so you either ate shuck beans or dried, or a pinto beans. Yeah. And or canned beans. Can Mom canned can. a lot of beans. Yeah. It took a half gallon jar would would do a meal. A half gallon jar and bean. And like a quart is <laughs> is a lot to get into your quarts. Woo. Yeah. You feeding eight people. Yeah. Well, yeah. When when you were young there there'd be eight at the dinner table. I don't see how my mother got anything done besides cooking. She's either gardening to have it, cooking it on the table, cleaning up after it, or preserving it for the next meal. Just endless. And when, before we got a refrigerator, uh, the evening meal, the kettle had to be cleaned. There's no way to keep it over. In other words, Mom knew exactly how much to cook, so there'd be no waste. Oh, look at Okay. In less than five minutes, I've already got two. Here it is, 90 degrees, 97 degrees heat index. What am I doing with my 88-year-old dad? Uh, tangling my fish line. Hold on. You're just going to lay here looking over the dock. Lord help us. He hasn't even got to put his catfish pole in the line yet. There we go. Just got to get it untangled. Yeah, that was not good video, was it? There. It's out there. Let's just see how quick before a little fishy gets hungry. Look. There it goes. Ooh. Ooh, he ate it. I got to reel it in. I don't have anybody over here holding the camera for me. I got to tell you.
There he is. Third one. It wouldn't have even, it wouldn't have taken five minutes except I'm trying to do a video. <laughs> and dad still ain't got his catfish pole out. And there's still, <laughs> and there's still worm left. Dad salvaging all the worm. Okay. <laughs> I'm laying, I, I'm going to cast. I didn't even get it out that far because I'm trying to hold my phone to not go in a creek or in the, in the pond. Whew. <laughs> it's, it's hot. Hot weather. Oh, look, there's dragonflies. I said the only thing out today would be dragonflies. This blue girl will come over here and find that. Okay, and Dad, Dad finally got his catfish in. Somebody. Okay, we got to get this moved out further. I got to do a good cast right now. Mm, not that one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Dad, look at them. They're here like jumping at the edge of Dad. Oh Lord, I wish I can see them right here, Dad. They're, I don't even know if my camera's picking them up. Look at these little tiny babies. Look at them. They're jumping out of the water to get that worm. You want to see these fish? This is crazy. It's like, oh, oh my gosh. He just jumped totally out of the water. No idea if I can get them on video. Here we go. We're out there a little further. Dad, Dad had one go away. He's trying again. I'm trying to get out past the the little bitty guys. We want a fry pan bath for all this reeling. Mm -hmm. The heat index is 97 degrees right now. Yeah. It's 90 degrees heat index. You better get over to the water. Okay, get over here, Than, to get that stinking fish in. Woo! 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 Yeah, he's, he's a little catfish. Oh, uh, You're getting fish water on. wouldn't believe that I was catching so many earlier, would you? Is that my phone? Yes, it is. That's your phone. 